and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to set up a sketching palette with Holbein watercolor paints. From time to time I like to try out new paints to see if I like them and if they fit my way of working. And trying out new paint is always exciting for me even if it's not strictly necessary because I have a lot of paints uh, still in my stash. I have been interested in Holbein paints for a while, since they are often described as very transparent, very uh, even painting uh, colors, similar to the Schminke brand that I use uh, most frequently. I still had a metal palette around, uh, which says Holbein on the lid, but I think it's actually a fake one, since it was very inexpensive. So I figured this would be a great little project to put together building a sketching palette with 25 colors plus white, because the sketching palette has uh, 26 wells, with Holbein paints in a metal palette that looks similar to the Holbein palettes out there. As for the palette itself, I find that these folding palettes where the colors face each other when the palette is closed need to be handled carefully when you're out in the field or still have wet paint or mixing puddles in the palette. Uh, the paints can mix together more easily. But this small metal palette is compact and lightweight and I've already used it outside for sketching and uh, it's, it's really nice to handle. I usually pick mostly transparent pigments and often choose single pigment paints, although I've become less interested in that point in recent years. It's more important that the chosen colors play well together when I'm mixing them, so the knowledge of the painter plays a larger role than using the right pigments. At least that's what I find. The most important factor for me is that paints are uh, light fast. Holbein has some not very light fast colors in their range, so these were off the menu for me instantly. They also offer a few three or four pigment paints, so these pre-made mixes, but they can easily be avoided uh, if needed. And there's usually more than one choice for particular colors. I ended up with a few pre-mixed colors because the place I bought my tubes from didn't have everything in stock. As I stated, this is not as critical for me as long as the color is light, fast, transparent and performs well. I have not had any quality issues with the paints at all. The paint activates well and feels smooth on the brush and on the paper. Holbein is a Japanese company and they offer some unique pigments that I wanted to try out. I was particularly intrigued by the cobalt violet, which is a lovely warm light violet and it seems perfect for painting flowers. And I also wanted to see what the imidazolone brown is like, it's a warm reddish brown. I was also curious about their leaf green, a very bright yellow green that should work well for foliage and sunlight. I have a similar light green in my palette, May Green by Schminke, but the Holbein variant is even brighter. Holbein watercolors are very finely milled and they hardly have granulating pigments, except for a very uh, few softly granulating ones like cobalt violet, cerulean blue and cobalt turquoise. I don't rely on granulation in my work a lot, so this wasn't um, a huge factor for me. So far I like how the paints feel and how they mix, and they are indeed very transparent and you can get quite subtle effects out of them. There was a slightly chemical smell coming off from the freshly squeezed paint, but maybe that's due to the almost airtight palette. Um, I haven't noticed this smell from my other paints in regular palettes. So here are the colors I chose. Imidazolone Lemon. Imidazolone yellow, isoindoline yellow deep, cadmium red orange, vermilion hue, pearl red, conacridone red, crimson lake, cobalt violet light, royal blue, ultramarine deep, Prussian blue, Taylor blue yellow shade, cerulean blue, cobalt turquoise light, leaf green, sap green, Bamboo green, yellow ochre, light red, burnt sienna, imidazolone brown, burnt umber, umber, sepia, and titanium white, which is a gouache paint by Schminke. 
In the end, I put together a selection of colors that is really versatile and useful for nature sketching, for me at least. Although I somehow forgot to put a neutral dark into the palette and I simply added some paints gray from my existing paint since I missed having a shortcut dark color available. For the next version of this palette I would probably leave out one of the earth reds and then add a paints gray instead. And I think I would place my gouache white near the yellows instead at the end and I just had forgotten about it when I started um, squeezing in the paint. All in all, this has turned out as a great little palette and I'm looking forward to experimenting more with it. Basically, I have, like in all of my palettes, uh, a similar setup, a warm and a cool version of each primary color and some greens, some earth tones and a few extras. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely had fun setting up this palette and experimenting with it. Uh, and mixing the colors together and seeing what kind of different mixes I can get out of this. And uh, yeah, I'd like to know from you, what does your palette look like? How do you choose colors? I always find this is really interesting to talk about. And uh, yeah, also let me know if you have painted with Holbein watercolor paints, if you've tried them out. As always, feel free to like, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.